hello, sexy creatures. I'm back. Okay guys, so I've been really motivated to bring you guys more content. You're welcome. But I just remember back then when I was trying to learn things on YouTube, like, like if we take it really back to why YouTube started, it's because we're here to learn things. Either by being you were being entertained or we want to learn how to do our hair, you want to do learn how to do this, do that, and YouTube had a purpose and I feel like it's been kind of lost throughout the years because now it just it, it became like this drama thing and it's like I'm good at what I do because of YouTube you know what I mean so I want to be able to stick to the makeup and teach you guys how to do things because that's what basically helped me so sorry my mouth is like on fire I'm eating freaking takis Today I thought I'm gonna teach you guys some tips and tricks. Now, again, the makeup might be repetitive, but for those who don't know, I actually used to do music videos back then, probably like three years ago. Yeah, like three years ago, wow. Um, I used to be a video vixen and it's out there. I actually have a video of videos that I've been in. I've actually been in way more and I think I wanna do a part two, but basically when I was doing music videos, it required for me to basically had to look on point most of the time because sometimes I would get called last minute and I would literally have to learn how to just do my makeup super quick and not only that my makeup had to last all day so let's say I did know that I had to be on set for 12 hours and you know I had to be ready so the way that I would do my makeup I will literally last with my makeup all day and I remember being on set and girls were always tell me like how does your makeup last so long I was literally the type of girl that would not bring makeup like extra makeup like could you not the only thing that I would probably bring was that Fenty powder that I've talked about before the blotting powder um but other than that y'all my makeup will stay on all day I do know that you know some of us are more oily than others and I'm a dry skin girl so maybe that could be one of the reasons why but I just wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks today so your makeup lasts all day and if you are in the entertainment world like let's say you are doing music videos as well or you know you just like to make sure that you're or you just have a regular job but you want to make sure that your makeup stays cute all day and literally like my makeup would last so long to the point that like when I was done shooting and let's say like I have a dinner after which that was ridiculous because it would be so many hours on set but literally after my makeup would look still good and ready for dinner like so I just wanted to teach you guys all these tips and tricks because I've never really like sat down and explained to you guys like I'm not literally the best at makeup like I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh I'm like literally the best because I I'm not really good when it comes to being creative, but I did learn a lot of things from being on set and like those things help me now and Back then I was able to wear makeup for long periods of time But now like I kind of get annoyed like now I just film for y'all or like take pics for y'all and I take it off immediately like I kind of don't like that feeling but back then like I was just really good at just keeping the makeup on and it just stayed like that all day and you know, if you look back at my old pictures, you would see that I used to wear a lot of makeup. But when you are on camera and, you know, you are constantly being filmed, you always have to look good. And your makeup your makeup does have to pop a little bit more than your, your average. I don't know. I feel like you just get washed out a little bit. But I just wanted to teach you guys that. I hope you guys enjoy this video and it's helpful. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun actually recreating this because it's gonna take me back to you know back then when I actually used to do my makeup when I would go on set and ah oh, it was just good times I actually miss being on set but you know it is what it is like that was back then I wouldn't mind doing another music video like if it was like for a really really popping artist like why not but um it was like my life like I'm not gonna lie like I was every other day on set and it is what it is so without further ado guys don't forget to follow me on instagram to stay updated with me all the time and you know my social media is always linked down below as well as my products that i will be using on this video um so yeah if you guys like any of this any of the products that i use they're gonna be linked down below and let's get into the video the first thing that i do want to talk about i'm sorry i'm like eating i should be like i should finish eating 
Okay, so the first thing that I feel like a lot of girls really never pay attention to is the base of your face. So I know there's a lot of primers and I know there's a lot of good primers out there, but most primers have a lot of silicone in it and to me personally, I feel like that slips my makeup off. Now, I don't know if that's just me or whatever, but I'm going to give you an example of I'm going to give you an example of primers that I wouldn't use if I were to be on set. So, for example, the professional. Now, I know this helps for a lot of people that have a lot of pores, but just the mattifying texture of it, the texture of it itself is very slippery. So even when I go like this, like automatically I'm thinking, oh, what is going to grasp on this, right? Now, that's just how I think, but of course everyone has their own theory. So this is a great primer, but it's not good for what we're trying to do today. So another one is this primer stick, and primer stick in matte, and it's by Beauty Creations, and it's like a little stick, and then you just apply it like that, and it's like mattifying, but when I feel it, it's a texture that almost doesn't, um, penetrate in your skin therefore like this silicone feeling is going to stay on your skin so this reminds me of it's gonna slip off again that's just my theory guys i'm not i never went to makeup school or anything like that but i'm just trying to teach you guys what helped me now you do want to moisturize your face because you obviously don't want your makeup cracking so i do suggest something very moisturizing if you can keep it as simple as literally just wearing moisturizer i would say go with that because we want to just minimize the fact that you're going to have so much underneath your foundation so if you can literally wear your favorite foundation i mean your favorite moisturizer something oil free something very refreshing i would say go with that or if you're you know worried about the sun or anything like that i suggest the elta md sunscreen i love this because literally it has no oil in it and i love it it protects and it hydrates and i would literally just wear this and then finish off my makeup so for today's makeup yes priming and the prepping is not going to be a lot um, I also really like the Hydro Grip by Milk. Some people just don't like it. I think it's very hydrating and sticky. It very it penetrates in your skin. So after that, really all you have is the stickiness of it. So this is another good moisturizer. Um, but like I said, if you want to, I mean primer, if you want to just stick to that, then I would say for today, I think I'm just going to stick to my sunblock. And remember, this has no oil in it. Please do not use any type of sunblock that you might have that has oil in it because that's just going to be a huge no-no. This feels moisturizing. This feels good. I'm literally, this is all I'm going to be putting on my face. Like, I want to be just a little bit moisturizer just so my makeup doesn't crack. That's it. That's all we're doing. We're going to save the primers for another day. Okay, so for foundation, you want to go full coverage. Cameras that they use are usually um, very HD. So you can literally see everything. You want to be covered, but you don't also want to look like a cake, right? A couple of foundations that I do suggest. So back then when I was doing a lot of music videos, my favorite foundation was actually the Milk one. This is a very good foundation. It's a very nice blurring foundation. Very buildable. Like, it's a very buildable foundation. It's actually really good um, for camera stuff and taking pics and all of that stuff. So, this one used to be my favorite. I really liked the Dior Undercover 24-Hour Foundation. The Dior one. And this is the full coverage one. Foundation was really good as well. Marc Jacobs is another one that I suggest. I actually, the, the reason why it's kind of like fucked up like this is because I actually like to use the Marc Jacobs on my body too. A little goes a long way with this foundation. So you do have to be very careful and make sure that the, the color that you pick is very true to your skin color because when it comes to very full coverages, like you want to make sure you match. So the Marc Jacobs is very good for TV and all of that stuff. But my current favorite has to be the Makeup Forever Reboot. Um, I just find that this is full coverage and it also gives me a good moisturizing base. 
like I said, um, I think Makeup Forever is a really good brand when it comes to pictures and all of that stuff. So you want to look glowy, like you want to look good, but you want to also avoid the fact that they're going to be like, oh my God, like she has a cake. And that's not cute either. You know, you want to be, and I have fucked up in the past where I do look like a cake and that's okay. But, um... We want to avoid that obviously i also remember one of the girls actually doing my makeup with this tart um amazonian clay full coverage um this is a very full coverage foundation if you know how to play with full coverage i say go for it um like i said just make sure that it is matching the rest of your body so I actually want to play around today and use the Amazonian clay because I always use um I always use the Makeup Forever okay, and this is in the color 27 neutral. Uh light medium neutral. Light medium neutral, something like that. So I'm going to start just little by little. This is a very very thick foundation, but I do remember my makeup looking very nice. I'm going to grab my wet um, beauty blender and just start blending it this is a really beautiful foundation actually um, it's very matte too so you know you're gonna have a good 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 you're gonna have good coverage and you're gonna not be an oily freak we are gonna go with the concealer so the concealer that I used to use all the time was actually the Tarte and she was my baby like Tarte was my bitch and she would never crease on me on the videos it's only right that we use Tarte I'm gonna go ahead and use a 22 neutral which it looks like this is a color that I've been using we want to go crazy but not so crazy because obviously it's gonna overpower what we just did with the foundation so usually just you know a nice little triangle right here i used to be like Bruh. but i mean you can do that but i don't know i'm just gonna do like a little bit right here a little bit on the outer part right here um tip of the nose and a little bit right here any like red spot that i'm gonna let it sit for just like one second i like letting the concealer sit just for a little bit nothing crazy just so it gives it more of like a full coverage effect okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out quickly so another thing that i used to love to use was actually this pro concealer from la girl and it's the yellow concealer i used to live by this and let's see if it still works ah it does so i'm gonna go ahead and actually just apply this underneath my eyes like this and this will automatically like brighten my eyes this was obviously before i knew the whole technique now that i know but you can go ahead and blend this in but you for sure want that very like dramatic under eye you see that when it comes to vids and stuff like that so i feel super <laughs> I feel so mad right now. It's like not even funny. I just feel like very set already and this is good. This is really good. And it just reminds me of like back then. Like I would feel super like set. I think this is good for now. I'm going to go ahead and contour a little bit. I used to contour a lot. And I would use the LA Pro Girl concealer as well. The Dark Cocoa which I lived by. Or this one that is the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in Cool Almond. I'm going to use Cool Almond today and just do just a little bit of contouring. Um, You can totally skip this part because I love contour powder now. Like I think I can basically get everything done with the contour powder now. But totally um, up to you. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this upwards not downwards upwards you want to keep a very straight line here and just blend this upwards and blend it on the sides as well forehead make your forehead nice and small okay so now that everything is nice and blended a little trick if you're not really good at the contour thing I would go literally back in with my yellow concealer and kind of just measure right here and do just like a little line 
like that and then bring it down like that totally optional and then just grab your beauty blender and blend it now obviously this is going to give you like a literally the sharpest thing ever so after that you want to just blend 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 you'll get it don't get scared just take your time blending it and you can go ahead and grab the brush again and then go over it to soften it up and then boom clean cut we're gonna obviously go over all of this with powder so you know take your time it's all about just learning your face what looks good on your face everything that i've learned and i put to practice is just little things that i pick up from everyone that i watch that just work for my face remember that it's not gonna always work for everyone's now we're gonna go ahead and set our face start setting our face so something that i did learn i think i don't know if i shared it in the video i think i did share it in my one year bbl is i learned this from a makeup artist that actually just did my makeup you want to go ahead and set your under eye before you actually put your setting powder on so so i'm going to use the dragon beauty the transformation powder and i'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with this powder just lightly it's just so basically we keep that color that pigment so go ahead and set that however you want to set your face we're gonna go back with this so don't worry too much about that so then after that i'm gonna go ahead and now bake my face and i'm gonna use my trusty huda beauty and the color pound cake that i always use but i'm also gonna give you guys an alternative back then when i didn't have a lot of money and i still wanted to look snatched i was using air spun till i couldn't no more so air spun was my Go to, I would use the translucent one, don't use the pink one. Just make sure that it doesn't really have any type of undertone, that it's just the regular translucent powder. You can literally get this at Walmart, Target, anywhere. They sell it anywhere, and it's a great powder to start, even if you are starting as a makeup artist and you obviously don't have too much money to buy the most expensive things ever. Airspun is literally the way to go. Cat's Beauty also has little translucent powders that you can start with. This is an actual... The, the banana one so if you you know want to start the kit as well and you don't want to spend too much money the banana one is great my trusty trusty one that is also very inexpensive that i used for the longest um the rcma powder is actually really really good to set under your eyes and literally super good like i literally still use this this is super good and, and it's very cheap actually i do know it's cheap so rcma no color powder is a great powder to start your kit with and you look professional everywhere you go too so if you pull up with that they're gonna be like oh they know so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my beauty blender that it's already down and go ahead and set this my under eye make sure i make it nice and thick this is also going to be a perfect um little catch for all the flyaways that you might get if you do your eyeshadow pretty dark obviously that's all up to you the eyeshadow part but i'm gonna make sure that it's nice and thick that way like when i want to sweep it away all the little fallouts go with it so nice and close to the nose and then we can also go ahead and clean up this part clean up this part and wherever you tend to crease so right here and right here and if you're oily up here i suggest you put a little bit right there as well. and now we're gonna just let that sit for a little bit and we're gonna go to eyebrows so back then i was using the anastasia pomade and i was just in love with the pomade but that was back then and you know back then i used to not laminate my brows or anything like that but you know now that i laminate them i do go a little bit more easier on the brows but i used to use the medium brown pomade and she's cute we love her obviously there's nothing wrong if you guys still use pomades like it really you know sometimes i will go back to her if i'm feeling it so now that i laminate my brows really all i have to do is this is going to save you a lot of time. So if you guys are the type that needs to do your makeup pretty quick and don't have really much time to sit down and literally do your brows, like, oh my God, like I know how long it takes to do brows. Like some girls really sit there and carve it out with the concealer and all that. I don't have that patience, but when you laminate your brows, like all you have to do is brush them up, seriously. And I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow in the color four. 
So I used to do really like dark brows and then I realized that I didn't really have to go too dark when it came to the actual color of the pomade. I think it actually just made me give me more of like a harsher look. If you do find yourself like, oh my god, I feel like my look a little looks too harsh. Maybe you can tone it down with the color. You know, if you're doing like ebony for Anastasia, like maybe a medium brown. And then you're going to see how much softer your makeup is going to look so now i really kind of just like draw hairs type of thing like that and now i like more of like a bushy like messy brow and that's what i'm loving now but you know i'm sure back then i was loving more of like the boxy vibe but please don't fill the front of your brows please don't do that just promise me you're not gonna do that Okay, what are you doing, Olivia? What are you doing? Takis. Why? With Zapatio. And I know this looks like it's a lot of powder, but we're going to have to go in with another powder. So this time, I suggest you get a powder that is actually kind of like the same color of your foundation so i usually use the chanel one and then this is in the color 30. you don't have to use chanel by the way this is just something that you know obviously i invest in and it's something that works for me and if you do know of any other translucent powder that might have a little bit more of color that's not too expensive maybe the laura mercier mercier i don't know how much that one is um i've just been loving the chanel one it just works for me personally but like i said there's more alternatives and if you have one don't mind don't forget to share it down below and so okay well, what we're gonna do with this is we're actually gonna set the places where we didn't put powder face and i'm talking about literally patrick star that shit like literally pound your face wherever you don't have powder and you're gonna let that sit again so for the makeup you can obviously go all out um let's say that day they want a grungy vibe so then you can go ahead and do your grunge makeup or let's say it's like a they have a theme and you know an 80s vibe like whatever it is that you want to do for your eyes go ahead and do that what I like to stick with was just the basics like if it's going to be like just a regular basic type of video I would just go for a little bit of a regular wing liner and that's pretty much it but you can go ahead and do you know the whole shebang okay so that's perfect a cute little wing liner so if you're done doing whatever you have to do now we're gonna go back to the face so contouring is a big one so when you're on camera you do you too you do tend to look a little bit and that's normal it's totally normal so you want to be able to really carve out your face i'm gonna go ahead and grab a little angled brush and i have my trusty kvd contour palette um i used to be obsessed actually i am going to share with you guys because i used to be obsessed with the sephora contouring palette and it's way more affordable and it literally was so good like i ran through like i'm not gonna lie like like a lot of these <laughs> So, as you can see, this one is like all messed up, but this was my shit. So, the Sephora Contour Palette, if you guys are trying to start out, um, definitely recommend it. I don't really like the Anastasia, um, the pigment, the actual like pigment of it, I don't know. Um, for some reason, like it just never really worked for me, but I'm going to use the Kat Von D and then just really start cutting that, that line right there. And then I'm going to start blending it up and then just bringing it up here to the forehead just like that and then do it on the other side. Start out light. You don't want to start dark because then you mess up. You want to start nice and light but you guys will see in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and really go on my chin. You want to be able to have a very nice sharp jawline. This is going to help super snatched and picked. now if you really really want to cut this which um this is already like enough for me but you can go ahead and use the darker shade and just grab just a tiny bit literally the tiniest bit and just really carve that right there and just give it like a you know okay so after this we're gonna go ahead and bronze our face and i've always really loved the hula bronzer i feel like a lot of us 
all have the Hoosla bronzer. They actually have the smaller version too at Sephora if you want to get it. Try it out if you're not trying to go ahead and spend all the money on the Hoosla bronzer. I don't suggest you contour with the Hoosla bronzer. That's just me. I don't know. I don't really like contouring with the Hoosla bronzer. I think it's just too orangey for my liking. But I go ahead and actually put this in between the contour and the highlight just to blend it out. Okay, so now we're going to do the nose. So the nose is very important. You want to be able to look as snatched as possible um, when it comes to the nose. And really, you can go crazy with the nose only because for some reason, like on video, you can't really tell when someone goes a little too, you know, overboard with the nose. And you're going to kind of like go like this and then try to do like a little line starting from your brow down here. And then you're going to do it on the other side. And then just kind of like go over it a couple of times like that. Now, in person, obviously, I'm looking at myself and it's a lot. But for camera and for video, like, you really won't be able to tell that much. All right, y'all. So next up is we're going to sweep off the rest of this powder. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the Dragon Beauty powder once again and grab my little sweeping brush. And I'm going to go ahead and start taking this off like that. And you can go ahead and grab those two colors once again and just really set your under eye if you're trying to have like that very like old Kim K look face. Now um, you can go ahead and use any blush that you'd like. I love my Chanel one in the color Malice. This has been my baby for the longest. Um, there's a lot. I actually used to love the Sephora ones. So the Sephora collection. Blushes are really nice if you're starting your kit. Or I'm sure any drugstore has literally the perfect blush for you. Blushes, you really can't go wrong. Just as long as they have pigment in it. So I go ahead and just smile and just put it on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm going to go ahead and use the professional one because I've just been really loving this setting spray. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of glitter. So I honestly did not like metallic um, highlighters because I remember seeing how ugly it looks on video. For some reason, it just looks like a stripe on your face, and it's just not cute, guys. Like, I'm just not a fan of it. So, I really love the Fenty uh, um, Diamond Glows, if you guys know what I'm talking about. This one. But I got the wrong color, so this is, like, the pinkish one. I really like the white one. It literally gives me just, like, an overall type of, like, glitter. Um, but if not, I'm using my trusty old Bobbi Brown Shadow in the color Moonstone. And literally just tap a little bit just to give me a little bit of like some glitter going on and that's really all you want like you don't want like a crazy amount of highlight when you are on so i'm gonna do just a little bit on the tip of my nose you can do however you like to highlight your nose and a little bit on my inner corner to just open my eyes a bit so i'm gonna go ahead and finish my inner corner liner as i usually do to give it a catty effect to finish off and do some lip liner lip liner is a must especially a 24 hour one this is gonna last all day even if you get in a pool even if whatever like whatever that is involved in your video in your pic in the weather this is gonna just stay on and this is in the color i believe it's in the color liar and you can go ahead and finish it off with some lipstick. I'm going to use my all-time favorite that I always would wear on set. And it was the MAC Myth. And it's only right that we wear it. And it's almost gone. This used to be my shit. <laughs> you can go ahead and go back with the lip liner and just 
really give it that ombre effect you can add gloss after this so for videos what i would do is i would try to keep it matte as long as possible and then once like my makeup just you know i would feel it that i'm like okay it's like it's been worn for a bit i think it's time to switch it up i would go and start adding lip gloss it's just like that's how you know your makeup is staying and all that cute stuff so my makeup literally feels like shield proof like i can feel it it's set i really hope you guys enjoyed this video it kind of took me back to like when i used to do my makeup for the music video so i had a lot of fun recreating this for you guys i hope you guys use some of the tips like I said, I'm not a pro makeup artist, but if you do take something from this and it helps you, well, I'm super, super happy. Uh, don't forget to like this video and follow me on all my social media platforms. And thank you guys for always supporting me. And yeah, I'm going to be sending way more content your way. So let me know what you guys want to see next. And yeah, guys, I love you guys so much.